Okay, let's do a let's do a rocket launch on this one. Here we go. Three, <laughs> Thirty-three thousand three hundred and eighty-five XP. Oh my god, that was awesome. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG. This is the Insane Nightmare series, and we are taking on Horde 70 here in our new Wasteland Pit Explosion Base. So uh, if you haven't been watching the series lately, then um, on 63, I did a very quick, quickly thrown together kind of makeshift version of this, and it was hugely successful and so now i've made massive improvements uh, to this base it goes all the way down to bedrock uh, the 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 six blocks up from the bottom are lined with steel and it's two walls thick uh, the second wall is only five high and uh there's also electric fences in a grid that we put in down there too so I'm expecting to get some nice xp tonight we're about halfway to the next level we currently have um uh, let's see. We currently have two points. I'm waiting for the third point to put into here. Then we will have an effective level 10, and then we'll put the next point into demolitions. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> I also have a, a rocket launcher that we got in the last episode with eight frag rockets. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen this base in action, basically the zombies, they just fall down there <laughs> they'll even beat on the base on the outside here so what we're going to do is we're going to let them build up a little bit um let's go ahead and throw a molotov down there and i did test this earlier and the explosions will get all the way to the bottom okay let's throw a couple grenades down there we want a nice big group of them there's a, a demo already okay since we have a demo there's two demos okay here we go watch the xp on the lower right hand corner 18,000 XP from our first explosion. <laughs> that is beautiful. Okay. So, uh, instead of just, you know, throwing bombs constantly, I'm going to try and let them build up a little bit down there. Because they don't... They don't tend to do a lot of banging on the walls as long as I stay on this ladder. Their AI is just really weird that way, but we're certainly, you know, exploiting that uh, in this episode. Okay. Let's throw a couple down there. Let's get another Molotov down to soften them up. And there's another Demolisher. Okay, let's do this. 24,000, guys. <laughs> Almost 25,000 XP from that one. Oh, man, it's a beautiful thing. So, yeah, again, the MO for tonight is to just let them build up a little bit. And then, you know, every, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds or so, we'll do an explosion. And, you know, I'll keep Molotovs down there, too. Cops can get at me with spit, but as long as I, you know, watch my health, it doesn't really create a big problem for us. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens on this one. 24,475 XP. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this, it, it, this works just a beautifully. It's amazing how well it works. Uh, this isn't my design either. If you did not see the first time I used this, uh, the design, uh, I found out about the design from a YouTuber named Just Rob. Um, so, yeah, just Google Just, or YouTube Just Rob. I put the link to his channel in my, my last video. Um, but I've, you know, I've, I've changed the base to from what he did a little bit. But yeah, he's the first one that I, I actually saw it from. And the other thing too is, you know, I'm, I'm completely hidden from the cops. Um, you know, I'm completely closed in, so I have, they have no line of sight on me. There we go, we got that third skill point and 22,000 XP on that one. So, you know, they, they can't do anything to me. I mean, they can spit from down below, of course, but um, 
it's not really a big deal. He spit on the on the way down. How funny. And you know, if I have some grenades down there and a copper blows up, then the copper just sets the grenades off and we still get the XP for it, which is really nice. Okay. 17,000 XP for that one. Nice. Man, we're just getting demolishers left and right. I can't, uh, obviously I can't loot the bags, so we lose out on some of the bags, but that's just kind of the, the nature of it, I suppose. It's a very safe base, though, as long as I don't fall off the ladder, that is. And the XP potential is amazing. 13,000 for that one. That was good. Oh, and then we had another either demo or cop blow up. Probably a demo. Okay, let's get a Molotov down there and then light him up again. I'm going to wait till I get the next point before I do my points because, uh, well, actually, if we do it right now, let's go here, perception. Okay, what does that give us? Headshot damage, 50% chance to dismember, dismember with rifles and explosives. Okay, so yeah, it was worth doing right now. But then when we get that next point, we're just going to put it right into explosives and we'll be maxed out. Oh shit, I, for I forgot to take this too. Atom Junkies, let's do that. Completely forgot about that. I have them on my toolbar too. It's exactly like something I would do. Okay, we got 24,000 XP from that one. That one's gonna hit. Nope, missed me. <laughs> I did have one time last, the last Horde Night, where Zombo got up here, but I just blew him away with my shoddy. Eleven thousand XP on that one. Okay, let's get another batch down there. But they they have not touched the the base up here once, and as long as I stay on this ladder, they won't do it. I was a little concerned that the eighteen thousand on that was a little was a little concerned that the grenades would ignite before they got all the way down to bedrock, but they don't, so we're good. That one hit. Eleven thousand XP on that one. Okay, that's good. We got lots of grenades. Looks like another demo's coming. Yep, there he is. Okay, here we go. This should be a big one. 19,000. Okay. Pretty good. Won't complain about that. This next one will probably get us our next level. Then we can max out explosives. Man, I've lost track of the number of demos we've had tonight. And there we go. Okay, let's go to here. And we are now a maxed out demolitions expert. Damage is increased by 50%, reload speed 35, aim 50 faster at a 45% greater chance to dismember. I love it. Get a Molotov. And of course the grenades will light the ignite the Molotov down at the bottom. 22,000 for that one. Nice. Very nice indeed. Last week when we did this, I didn't have the pit lined all the way. So as they started to, uh, you know, explode and dig their own way down to bedrock, they were kind of spread out a lot more. Whereas this is keeping them contained at the bottom of the pit. Got 13,000 XP for that one. 
Uh, I'm also wearing the nerdy hat uh, that gives us a, an extra 10% bonus. And I should get the learning elixir too for this next time. I just didn't think about it. I've been so busy, you know, just getting everything ready. But, uh, you know, this base is pretty much the way it's going to be. I don't think I'm, I'm not really planning on doing any more improvements to it. So just should be a, a massive XP machine here. Fifteen thousand on that one. Nice. A little bit of cop spit there. Nothing to be concerned about. Twenty thousand. Nice. We're already over halfway to the next level. The hell was that? That was weird. Some kind of fireball thing shot back up at me. But this is vanilla. I'm not running. Well, actually, I am a r running a, a couple of like quality of life mods, but nothing that changes the zombies. That was odd. what we get 24,000 nice uh, I don't have any XP multiplier on uh, either we're just playing on normal as far as that goes but I mean they're they're pretty far down so it's a little bit hard for me to see but most of most of the time they're just milling around right in the center Trying to figure out how the hell to get back to me. It's just really odd, again, how that their AI is processing all of that. Okay, let's do a let's do a rocket launch on this one. Here we go. Thirty three thousand three hundred and eighty five XP. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was awesome. Look at. Like one hair away from the next level. <coughs> All right, that was amazing. I had like three or four grenades down there too, ready to go. So it wasn't just the rocket, you know, uh, launcher itself that did all that damage. But that was awesome. <laughs> okay. Just letting it build up a little bit more. Okay. I think that's four grenades. Yep, 22,550 on that one. Excellent. Um, okay, so that point we're going to put into uh, Deadeye. So we're maxed out now on our sniping as well. Well, when we have this hat on, that is. Hell, I might just wear this hat all the time. I don't know. We'll see. Thirteen thousand on that. Okay, that's four grenades. Here we go. Thirty-two thousand two hundred and thirty. Oh my god, we're already like thirty thirty-five percent all the way to the next level just with that that one. Well, mostly that I think. That was awesome. See that? The other thing about this too is I'm actually not using as many explosives as I did last time by letting them build up like that. So that's always a nice thing, because it takes a lot of work, man, to build this many grenades and rockets and all that shit. 14,000 on that. Well, we definitely get our biggest bang when we, <laughs> if we use the rocket. 
Um, if you're wondering too, I'm at game stage 385, so that's where we are uh, with that. Twenty-five thousand, nice. That was with four grenades and our Molotovs. See, the nice thing about the Molotovs is it kind of softens them up and gets them ready for a big boom. Okay, here we go. Here's another big one. Oh, I guess we better load first. 32,780. Man, the horde's like really slowing down. I wonder if I'm going to kill them all tonight. I don't know though. Does that happen in the wasteland? I know, you know, when you fight Zeke's in the wasteland at night on Insane Nightmare, which is what I'm playing on, for those of you who don't know, they don't stop. They just keep coming. And the Feral Sense is on too, by the way, so there's that as well. Now we're, we're starting to get a nice big group of them again. Okay, let's get ready with another rocket here. This is just gravy at this point. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's wait for him to get all the way down. 31,000 and already got another point. That's amazing. All right, how many more of these do I have? I, I still have four more. Okay, nice. They're all dead down below, though. The other thing about, you know, that's nice about the electric fences is it stuns them, so that prevents, while they're stunned, they can't be doing damage. And they're not constantly in the fences either, so that means the fences could very well last all night. Alright. We got a nice little group of them down there again. Here we go. 31,000. Every time I've used this rocket launcher, we've gotten it over 30,000 XP. <laughs> oh, a few more get down there. All right, here we go. Come on, guys. Get down there. 32,450. Okay, we have two rockets left. We've got tons of grenades. Oh. That's the first time they've actually hit on the base. How interesting. All right, get on down there, boys and girls. There you go. 27,000 on that. That's the first time we didn't get at least 30,000. I lost track of how many nades I've thrown down there. Oh, the, the bags down there are just crazy. All right, last rocket. Here we go. Let's wait a little bit longer. I don't want to wait too long because the grenades will disappear. All right, here we go. Only got 22,000 that time. Okay. Okay, so now we're just grenades the rest of the night. It's uh, almost 2.30, so we're getting close. Oh, we got 10,000 on that one. That's not bad. So far, we haven't had any vultures tonight. Last time, we had tons of vultures. Pain in the ass. Look at them all going down there. Okay, here we go. This will be four grenades. 23,000. Okay, not bad. <laughs> that one bounced off of him. It's funny. Yeah. 
here's somebody banging on something. I parked my 4x a little bit further away this time because they were attacking it last time. A cop was, anyways. I think he, I think it was stuck on it more than anything. Missed. Okay, four grenades. Here we go. 19,000. Good. Actually, really good for grenades. We did uh, read that book, too, that allows uh, Molotovs to burn longer. One of the, I think it's one of the fire, fire books. Twenty seven. Oh, wow. Twenty seven thousand. Wow, that's really good. I'll be curious to see, you know, what the damage is like down there. When, as far as I can tell, they still seem to be contained inside the pit. But it's so far down, you know, that I can't tell really well. You know what we could do is this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Never even thought. I just now thought to do that. It's just a big mess of Zeeks down there. Zeeks and bags. Zeeks and bags. Hey, there was that little fireball thingy again. That's weird. I don't know what that is? Probably just a graphical glitch. Eighteen thousand. That's pretty good. I mean, have you ever seen an an easier, smoother horde base? <laughs> I mean, Fun Piss will probably figure this out and patch it or something, but until they do, man, I'm taking advantage of it. <laughs> Kablooey, 15,000 on that one. Nice. I just wish there was some way I could retrieve all those bags, but I don't know how that would be possible in this with this design. We'll still get a, a decent amount of them. The other thing that kind of sucks, too, is they sent the demos early. I wish they would have waited towards the end because then we would have gotten more red bags, but oh well. I cannot complain about this base. Not in the least. Twenty thousand on that one, nice. Nineteen thousand there, that's good. Little cop spit. I mean, this is almost peaceful. <laughs> now watch something disastrous happen. 22,000. So we've gotten a total of seven points so far, I think, tonight. Uh, six points. Yeah, I think we got a total of six. We probably won't get another one, but we'll get close. At least halfway there, I'll bet. Twenty-one thousand. Nice. Oh, well, that one hit uh, hit on one of the poles, maybe. Yeah, every once in a while they'll hit these poles here. Thirty thousand. I think that's the first time we've gotten thirty thousand with just grenades alone. Uh, I did let him build up just a little bit longer, though, too, so that's a big part of it, I think. And it's morning. Challenge, survive 10 blood moons is complete. Nice. Okay, well, we should get something halfway decent for that, I would think. All right, let's finish the rest of these bastards off. 
And then we'll get down there and get the bags. Eleven thousand. Six thousand. And is that all of them? No, nope, we still have still have a big mama down there. Man, she's tough. Remember we <laughs> we're maxed out now on sniping. Okay, that killed probably both of them. Yeah, looks like we're done. All right. Let's, uh, let's scooch on down there. I'm going to put some of this in here so we have room for... For stuff. Uh, let's just eat this now. That'll give us another slot. Okay, let's see what we can get. Oh, some of the fences did go finally go any red uh, see all the red bags are gone that sucks but hey the walls are all intact in fact there's not a single block in here that's severely damaged impressive oh we got another blue auger we found one last time too got a drone something or other there all right what I'm gonna have to do is um uh, no I don't want to eat that let's let's read that this I'll just make a temporary storage crate here oh I, I even forgot to do my atom junkies all night so we would have done even better had I remembered to do that okay let's keep going after the blue ones first Oh, finally, I got a steel shovel. I almost made one, and I figured, nah, we'll eventually find one in loot. Oh, we got a chainsaw, too. Nice. We'll, we'll, look at, we'll look at it all here in a second. I just need to get through it quickly so we don't it doesn't despawn. That chainsaw is going to be nice. Um, two blue shovels. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. I was going to make a blue nail gun, too. Now we don't need to. Well, actually, I was going to make an, an epic purple once we got the next level, but I don't think we will now. We don't need to. All right. So, hey, you know, even though we didn't get every single bag... I mean, these are nice, and this is really nice, and this is really nice. So still pretty good uh, overall. Okay, now what we need to do next is... Uh, I'm just looking real quick. We got a biker helmet uh, that's got stun resist. That's not too bad. Lumberjack, we'll, we, I'm going to use that you know, for cutting wood. That's just a niche um, armor. Look how I like the mining armor. <laughs> We got preacher gloves. Ooh, those are supposed to be like some of the best gloves in the game because of the zomb damage. In fact, I should probably make an epic version of those and just wear those as our main gloves. Uh, I oh good, we got two legendary parts too. We got a supercharger mod. Man, I wish that would have been the reserve fuel tank, but that's okay. Uh, let's read anything that is is a book and not a magazine that we can. Um, I guess that's probably... Didn't we get a great heist one, too? Or did I already read that? Maybe I already read it. Okay. So, what? Uh, let's go back up 
and we'll go we'll go get our four by. I'll fix that f fence later. Uh, let's actually turn the generator off though. And I want to get the nerdy chess piece, you know, before we read all those magazines. What a successful Horde Knight, though. I think we got six points in total, right? I, b I believe so. Or was it seven? I don't know. But we're, you know, whatever it was, we're halfway to the next level, too. Even maybe just a tad over halfway. And yeah, damn it, I should have I should have been eating my Atom Junkies too, but it's okay. Can't complain. We did good. Um Oh, where the hell is my nerdy chess piece? You know what? I think I may have left it back in the bike. Son of a bitch. What are those? Uh Raider boots. Yeah, I already got those. Uh okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. We're not going to read those and these until we get back to the base because that's just too many to not take advantage of that. These I'm going to make I'm going to make the epic version of these. The the only bad thing about these is they're light armor, but I don't know. I mean, how important is that ultimately? Uh, we already have one of those. In fact, we have a better one of those. We have a better one of these, so we can scrap that. Um, all of these, of course, we'll just sell to the trader. We'll figure out, uh, I think we'll save that and put that in the gyro when we eventually get it. Man, it's nice that we got this blue nail gun and these shovels. Uh, I already have an epic pickaxe. Let's drink this. Put that down there. Okay. Let's go back down and get another load. But yeah, I mean, all things considered, uh, minimal repair work. You know that I'll have to do. I'll just pull. I'll just pull up and you know sweep the sides of the walls as I go up to make sure those are all good. Uh, but here, let's put you back where you're supposed to go. And. Um, yeah, we'll just grab all of that, and then we'll come back down for one final load. Oh, man, that was good. That was more or less what I was expecting, though, you know, um, just b based upon how well this base performed last time, and we improved it significantly since last time, too, you know, so. Let's just do that and quit trying to organize anything at this point. I just want to get it all. Okay. Um, I don't have any gas with me, and I don't have my axe, so we'll just bust it with this. What I could even maybe do is, and probably should do, is come out here and punch a hole in the wall and just put a crate in there. Um, in fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. Except for I don't have a pick on me, so I'll do it later. <laughs> uh, okay. So, oh, wait a minute. Did we lose a door? We did lose a door. How about that? I just now noticed. Well, okay. That's why we put two of them on there. <laughs> I just now noticed that. So they were pounding on that door, but they didn't get through this one. Um, how damaged is this door? Eh, it's in pretty decent shape. I might even I might even put a third door in here because I can, you know, you might as well, right? Now that we know that they were actually going for the door, which doesn't surprise me because the the AI is programmed to target doors even even when it doesn't make sense for them to do so. So yeah, let's put a triple on that just just in case, you know, for the next time. All right, guys, I'll meet you back at the base and we'll we'll uh, read all these magazines and see what happens.
There we go. Okay, so let's uh, wear this. And let's see what we get. So we have four bow hunter magazines. Okay, so we can now do iron crossbow five. Electrical traps. Oh, okay, now we can do epic iron crossbows. And compound quality one. Man, we, we must have gotten a lot of bonus reads off of that. Okay, two more electrical traps. That didn't get us anything, but 10 explosives. Rocket launcher quality two. Okay. Um, once we get to the point where we can make an epic, then of course I'll, I'll make an epic, but the blue one will serve us fine for now. We got 11 sledge magazines. Quality four. Will we get quality five? Nope. Okay. Two handies. Nail gun quality six. I don't think I'm going to bother making an epic purple nail gun now. Uh, we have a blue that we got for free, so <laughs> I don't think I'll worry about it. Uh, six rifle magazines. Okay, so sniper quality two. Uh, Fourteen shotties. Wow. That should at least get us into auto. Yep, okay. Even though we have a blue already. But again, when we get reach epic on this, then I'll make an epic because, you know, shotgun's pretty much my favorite weapon, my favorite gun weapon anyway. Uh, all right, we got 10 tacticals. That gets us to five. Will it get us to epic? Nope. Okay. Two tools digest. All right, now we can make a blue auger and chainsaw, but we don't need to, of course. <laughs> and then one vehicle. And there we go. All right, that's the loot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, obviously, the, the prizes were the, the auger and the chainsaw and the nail gun. And these guys, too, really. Um, those are, are going to be really nice to have because I've been using an iron shovel. But it's worked fine, so I just didn't I, I didn't want to burn, you know, a steel parts because i figured we'd eventually find one in loot which we have so it's great uh okay so i need to to really take a look at the at the armor stuff um and decide what i'm gonna put together as my just kind of everyday type of set um i've got like a farming set and i've got a salvaging set and i've got a mining set and you know we'll we'll have a lumberjack set too for those specific purposes but for when we're out and about you know doing jobs and stuff i want to have a you know kind of oh and then of course you know we have the the selling set which is really just mostly the enforcer so we'll figure that out and take a look at it anyway i'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here so i'm going to spend the rest of today day 71 just uh repairing the horde base we do have some repair work to do it's not extensive but it's you know we got to do it uh, and get that done so we're ready to go and then basically we can spend the whole rest of this week um, just doing jobs and exploring our town um, and having fun with that so that is the plan I've still got a lot of stuff to do around the house too but we'll do you know keep doing that kind of thing a little bit at a time as well but I really want to get out and just do a couple of episodes where we're just you know doing POIs and kind of having fun and not not working so damn hard <laughs> even though it's been very enjoyable up to this point, you know, even even with the work that we've done. So with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.